The representative for the 7th District, Dr. Natalia Whitley, is ensuring that none of his constituents go hungry during this COVID-19 period. Just recently, the food pantry in the district became operational and has been providing much-needed food to the community. Dr. Whitley said he was moved to assist persons. Persons have lost their jobs. Many persons are without an income. Many persons do not know where their next meal is coming from. So myself, along with my committee, and also the 7th District response team, came up with the idea that we should start a food pantry here in the district to help persons who are vulnerable, uh, persons who are unemployed or underemployed, persons who are generally struggling and need a helping hand. So what would happen is persons would come to the 7th District office, they would fill a form, and they would have a number of items that they can uh, request. And after their application is processed, uh, a bag would be prepared for them, and the bag would be dropped off for them, or they can collect the bag. There has been a number of individuals and families who have benefited from this since we started. In fact, there is a tremendous need in the community right now for this type of service. According to the representative, several families and individuals have benefited from this service. He said there is a tremendous need in the community and noted that government cannot do it alone. This is why we are appealing to all the business persons in our community to become a donor for this food pantry here in the 7th District. Uh, we have persons who have already given, and we want to thank them. Persons like uh, companies like Atlan Heavy Construction uh, donated uh, a freezer for us. They donated uh, supplies, uh, food supplies. We also have Guana Fund, who generously also gave uh, supplies to be able to be shared with the people in the community. Mr. Leando Fret as well has contributed. And of course, we have our Great Mountain Water, they contributed as well. And we want to, to thank them, and we want to ask more companies more individuals there's no donation that's too small please come so we can help more individuals in our community we have persons who have small children they have babies so we make sure that we have a formula and pampers and baby wipes for those persons we have persons who uh, may need cleaning supplies so of course we have supplies to keep the place sanitized and to keep the place safe uh, from COVID-19 or any other type of uh, thing that might be out there floating around. So we, uh, we are proud of the service that we are providing here to the people of the 7th District. Of course, we know it will never be enough, so we always need more persons to pitch in and help. But we want to thank everybody who's contributed thus far and we look forward to more persons getting involved in this effort. Dr. Whitley said many persons sometimes are in need of just basic food items. And we have chicken here, we have fish, uh, we have canned goods. We also have persons who need um, things like milk and cereal. Um, they need um, some perishable goods like um, peppers and onions and things that they can cook with. Uh, we even have seasonings here. Uh, we have water. Uh, we have uh, lots of different things. Uh, things for the children uh, that they can get their, their juice or their snack. Uh, we have lots of different things because of course, persons need just the very basic food items. And that's what we're really providing. In fact, we um, used some of the items that were on the, the, the food provisioning list from when we had the lockdowns earlier. And uh, we wanted to continue that service. So we, we sought out some of the basic food items uh, so that persons would be able to sustain themselves 
Um, and of course, this is a service that we're providing for persons once a month, those persons who qualify. And they qualify basically by demonstrating that they're unemployed or they're underemployed in some way. At the moment, the food pantry is being financed by Minister Whitley's district allocation. However, he says it's not enough to sustain the program year-round. He is therefore appealing to the business community and persons who are engaged in humanitarian work and in non-profit organizations to donate to the food pantry to help struggling persons in the district. For more information, persons can contact phone number 344 7200 that's 344 7200 or you can come to the district office between the hours of 9 to 4 monday through friday and you will find somebody here the office is located in the former elite building in fat hogs bay and the seventh district representative said in this COVID 19 era each one help one and they will all get through this together with BVI Love.